What if I told you there is a place where ancient wisdom meets cutting edge technology, where every corner whispers the stories of brilliance and where dreams are forged into reality. Hello everyone, I am Neha Gulati and you are watching College Review Series by Akash. Today we are going to review IIT Varanasi, a campus like no other. So if you are curious to know everything about this IIT, about its campus, courses, fee structure, placements, scholarships and a lot more, then stick around as we explore IIT Varanasi. Indian Institute of Technology, Varanasi, commonly known as IIT BHU Varanasi, is situated within the expanse of Banaras Hindu University campus in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. Initially, the IIT was established in the year 1919 as Banaras Engineering College. It later became Institute of Technology in 1968 and was designated as Indian Institute of Technology in 2012. Talking about its NIRF, then the IIT has been ranked 10th in the engineering category and 30th in the overall category. Internationally, the IIT has been ranked 531st by QS World University ranking 2025 and 12th in India. Let's have a look at its wonderful campus now. The campus spans approximately 1300 acres near the banks of river Ganga, making it the second largest in India. IIT Varanasi campus architecture is a blend of traditional and modern styles with the buildings constructed in early 20th century. The campus is known for its lush greenery, providing a serene environment which is conducive to academic pursuit. Students and faculty have an access to a variety of facilities that include library, hostels, well-equipped laboratories, sports complex, cafeterias and dining halls, healthcare centre, computer centre, cultural and recreational facilities, banking services, with shuttle services within the campus and transportation option for travel to nearby locations. Talking about the academics now, then the institute comprises 11 engineering departments, 3 science departments, 3 interdisciplinary departments and a humanities department offering a diverse range of academic programs. For BTEC aspirants, here is the list of programs offered by the IIT. Now let's get familiar with the admission process and eligibility criteria. See, the eligibility criteria at all the IITs is same, so is for IIT Varanasi. So the candidates aspiring for admission in one of the courses here at IIT Varanasi, first of all need to pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their core subjects. For general category, 75% is the required aggregate and for ST, SC or PWD category of the candidates, the required aggregate is 65%. Further, you must clear J advanced to be eligible for the admission process and to be eligible for that you first of all need to clear J main paper 1. Foreign nationals can register themselves straight away for J advance without appearing for J main. Thereafter the candidates register themselves for JUSA counseling based on the marks secured in J advance and there you are allotted a seat you get all your documents verified and pay the required fees and for foreign nationals they get accepted through DASA and ICCR schemes. With this, the IIT also offers Bachelor of Architecture program and the candidates who are interested in pursuing BARC at IIT must meet the eligibility requirements. And the eligibility requirements are same as that of BTEC. Along with this, the candidates need to qualify the Architecture Aptitude Test AAT conducted by IIT Varanasi. Now let's understand the fee structure as well. The fee at IIT Varanasi comprises of expenses such as one-time payment at the time of admission, deposit payable at the time of admission, semester fee, medical insurance. Hence, the fee per semester for general category of the candidates would be 1,21,465. For candidates with parental income between 1 to 5 lakh, the same would be 54,798 as they get two-third of the remission of tuition fee. And for students with parental income less than 1 lakh, is going to be 21,465 as they get full remission of tuition fee. And for ST or SC candidate, the amount is 21,165. 
Hence, B.Tech from IIT Varanasi is going to cost you between 9 to 10 lakh approximately. Now let's have a look at the scholarships offered by IIT Varanasi. Like all the IITs, IIT Varanasi offers a wide range of scholarship for its meritorious and economically weaker section students. Here's a list of scholarships offered here at IIT Varanasi. Merit ka means scholarship. Top Class Education Scheme for SC Students National Fellowship and Scholarship for Higher Education of ST Students Scholarship State Scholarships and Endowment Scholarships And for more information on the scholarships and to find out if you are eligible to apply in one of these scholarships then do visit the official website Now let's have a look at the placement statistics for the year 2024 at IIT BHU The first phase of the placement drive recorded 1072 offers including 118 pre-placement offers The placements also included 12 international offers Highest domestic package offer stood at Rs 1.65 crore with an average package of Rs 30 lakh Many students secured packages in the range of 50 to 70 lakh. Among the top recruiters were Google, Microsoft, Amazon and Goldman Sachs offering competitive salaries and coveted roles. Talking about the second eligibility criteria that is to pass JE Advance. So for that, let's have a look at the rank cutoff for the year 2024. So here is the branch-wise cutoff after fifth round of JOSA counselling. You can use this data as reference for your choice filling process during JOSA counselling. For Ceramic Engineering, the rank cutoff for this branch opened for Gender Neutral at 10,504 and closed at 12,154. For Chemical Engineering, the opening rank stood at 5,715 and the closing rank was 7,757. For Computer Science and Engineering, the rank went as high as 667 and the rank closed at 1,071. For civil engineering, the opening rank for gender neutral was 7,809 and the closing rank was 9,339. Here is the branch wise cutoff for all the remaining branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For category wise rank and rank cutoff for various courses, you can visit the link given in the description. Now it's time to throw some light on the festivals and events conducted here at IIT Varanasi. Like all the IITs, IIT BHU also conduct quite a few festivals around the year. IIT BHU has four main student-oriented festivals. Technix, which is the annual techno management festival and Asia's oldest techno management fest. Shastriya, the annual socio-cultural festival. Sparda, the annual sports fest. FMC Weekend which is the annual film and media festival. Then there is an event called Kashi Utkarsh, which is an initiative undertaken by the students of IIT BHU to elevate the sufferings and the issues faced by the members of the less privileged community of the society. Apart from these, there are several events conducted by the Students Run Club. Now let's have a look at a list of notable alumni of IIT Varanasi. Deepak Ahuja, former CFO at Tesla, Krishna Kant, former Vice President of India. Manoj Sinha, second Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir and former Minister of State Railways and Communication. Jay Chaudhary, CEO and founder of Z Scaler, and many more. The list is endless of the alumni who has passed from IIT, IIT Varanasi. All right, like every campus has its own story, and IIT Varanasi is no different. It's a blend of opportunities, challenges, triumph and growth. While the legacy and brilliance are undeniable, every experience here is what you make of it. From rigorous academics to the moments of self-discovery, it is a place that helps you find your own path. So is IIT Varanasi the right fit for you? The question only you can answer, as this was all from me today. Now you let me know in the comments section what did you like the most about the IIT and which other IIT do you want me to review next. And yes, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.